the door is not opening itself, Miss Forbes, please. Come along. What do I look like, your chauffeur? Get Let's out please. yourself, buddy. Yeah. I don't ever want to get out of this car. It is called, well, I guess I have to, because um, we have to talk to Zach about the car show, but it is the Fisker right, Karma, and he's going to tell us about that and a whole lot more. How Good are you, my friend? You. Great, great. Uh, should we talk about the car first, or you want to talk about the show first? It's let's... the elephant in the room. Yeah, yeah <laughs> let's talk about this. This is a really cool car. This car has been on the bubble for quite a few years now. Yeah. There's a guy named Henrik Fisker, yeah. who used to be the head designer for BMW, and he designed one of the most beautiful cars ever made, the BMW Z8. Oh, you can, oh, you can see, see it in the front. It's sexy yeah. lines. Sexy lines, a beautiful coupe. And then he left there and became the head designer for Aston Martin. And you see a bit of that in yeah, there. Yeah, That's All quite right. the pedigree. That's quite the pedigree. Yeah. And he started up his own company, Fisker, and he went out and he got financing to people who were in the high-tech business. He didn't just want to do a regular gasoline car. He wanted to do an electric car. So what you have here is an extended range electric vehicle, high performance, ultra luxury for the high-end buyer that can afford to invest in this new technology. Yeah. Because as we all know with electric cars, they're expensive. Yeah. So you might as well make a car that appeals to the people who can afford exactly. a beautiful car like Extended this. range, what does that mean? Does that, that mean it's partly gasoline powered? Or yeah, it so it has a battery that runs right down the middle. Yeah. And this can drive the car to about 80 kilometers on just electric power. Wow. You live in so for most people, you're yeah. styling. You live in West Van Point Grey, you live in White Rock, you could get into town, plug it in at work and drive it home, and it would probably be on electric power almost all the time. Then under the hood is a two liter uh, turbocharged General Motors engine, actually. They partnered with General Motors, but that really just supplies extra generating power to keep the car going. We've all heard of the Chevrolet Volt. Yes. Yeah. Right, so they have the same sort of philosophy with the Volt. So there's battery, you can extend the range with the gasoline engine, and you have two massive electric motors that drive the rear wheels. So this car gives you beautiful response. The rear okay, let's talk about like some of the luxury car. inside, yeah. and also, what the heck is on the top? Yes, yeah, so you've got a solar panel on the top, you've got beautiful finish on the inside. That's the one thing. I saw the very first rolling uh, prototype of this car in Detroit years ago, and I sat in it, and it's very tight cockpit design, yeah. but it's opulent at the same time. Some people might compare it to the Porsche Panamera on the inside, but this is finished with the beautiful Alcantara, and it's a uh, yeah, gorgeous okay. looking. Even some of the okay, yeah. Let's talk about the the auto show in general because it kicks off uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. That's right. Excellent. Yeah, and it goes through until the eighth, and there's all kinds of stuff. You're going to have the luxury lane for vehicles like this. There's going to be the Rolls Royce uh, there. There's going to be all kinds of uh, high performance cars like the Ferrari FF, which is a four seater all wheel. They named drive it Ferrari. for me. That's so nice of them. Yes. They're <laughs> four. Four-wheel drive and Fiona Forbes, that's right. <laughs> and, and then you know what, I, as much as the $106,000 car like this, uh, um, Fisker, Karma, there's also going to be lots of great cars for average regular folks yeah. to, to drive. Are we going to see that idea of uh, electrical and hybrid vehicles and, and sort of that trend continuing at the auto show this year? It has to, and the reason why is that we have new regulations that are coming into place in 2016 for all of North America. And in order for the auto manufacturers to hit these mileage claims, or 35 and a half uh, miles okay, per gallon, yeah. uh, it's a corporate average, that means every vehicle a company sells, they have to go electric. So you're seeing more of that. The new Jetta, uh, hybrid is going to be there. Probably one of the most exciting hybrid cars is going to be there. It's the new Prius C. Prius is now a family of cars. So there's the regular Prius. There's going to be a smaller Prius that just was announced in the last couple of weeks. It's called the Prius C. It starts at $21,000. That's it's amazing. Smaller, more fun to drive and does all kinds of great things. And what is the car that Zach Spencer is the most excited about seeing? Well, what I'm most excited about is both of you buying tickets for the Dream Car Lottery, okay? Uh, the, the New Car Dealers Foundation, this is their charitable foundation, which gives all kinds of money uh, throughout the province. They have a lottery every year. This year, speaking of BMW, uh, the Z4, and the BMW X5 diesel. You win them both. Two cars. Really? Two cars worth over 145 grand. I'm in. You can buy tickets at VancouverInternationalAutoShow.com and you can buy them for only $20 or four nice. tickets for 50. It's a great deal. And this is the ultimate place to just walk around and enjoy all kinds of vehicles. Like you say, yeah. from you know the technologically advanced. There's gonna be classic cars that. there. There's gonna be a truck city for pickup trucks and all the accessories. That's where you'll find Eckford. Yeah. Pickup truck. Truck city. Yeah.
Totally. Well, Zach, thank you so much. Anytime. As we mentioned, you can check out the auto show. Go to the website to find out all the information. And if you're interested Don't worry, I'll in get the this Fisker theater. Karma, you can certainly check them out. They're on Burrard Street. If you want to experience this in person, you've got... And they're available now. They're available now. Yeah. I'll take two. Okay. Um, but get your checkbook let's... out. Let me get in. Here we go. Now, how does a lady get in a car like this? Very carefully. Very carefully. <laughs> Did you see that? That move? That's how you get in. That's how you don't do the Britney Spears, people. We're going to take a quick break.